Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. Today is our first episode on our new set. Um, it's the whole basement room here is under construction, so uh, just bear with me. I'm doing a quick special episode of uh, games because we're going on vacation and I want to take some of these games with me. So I want to review them so you can see them and I can take them with me. So uh, the first one, uh, let's just go with, uh, we are going to play uh, Where's Hagrid? So Big Hagrid is hidden somewhere on our set. So let's have you find him. And then uh, we'll go from there. So um, let's show you what we got. We got a game called Clash Alley, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And that is by Wonderforge, Nickelodeon, and it was made in 2013 Viacom. So here's the back. Hopefully there's not too much glare. Um, I have new lights set up. As you can see, that light is different than the light I used to have, um, but hopefully it's not too, too in your face, you know? in your face uh, we have a Dungeons and Dragons board game called Dungeon Fantasy Board Game um, it is made by Wizards of the Coast DungeonsandDragons.com from 2014 and fantastic game adventure for the whole family if you're into Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. I just plugged him, or plugged him in, yeah. I just uh, got any fresh batteries in him. Uh, his name is Norman Nutman, the sports nut. And first off, I like odd, cool looking figures. Um, he is like this big nut, uh, has a hat. The hat says Radica, which is actually who is he's made by and it says 1999 Radica um, so let's turn them on new game why isn't he turning on there we go but to how many career total yards did he get in college oh he 2342 or 2628 He's asking about Barry Sanders. He press his tongue. Wrong. <laughs> That's what happens if you get an answer wrong. Buttercup, hit my tongue, and I'll give you your first question. What college football player set the record for most points scored if Yeah. He'll just keep he's like that annoying guy who only talks about sports trivia. But he's pretty cool looking. Um, I also wanted to review these. These were Star Wars gliders um, because a guy at work had mentioned about uh, the kids with cell phones and b us being entertained by just gliders. <laughs> and these just happened to be Star Wars gliders that I found. Um, and these were from... Uh, doesn't have a year. They're pretty cool. It says Disney. So it's pre-merger, or uh, post-merger. We have two games uh, that were still in the package and I thought were pretty cool. Shotgun, the road trip game. And this one is, um, it has like cards that you read and I'll give you an example. If you know why the front seat is called shotgun, you get a point. First person who gets away from someone in another car wins two points. What is the capital of the state we're in? And then starting with the driver, go around and name songs that have drive in the lyrics. So pretty cool ideas for games to stay interested. And then along with that one, I found a game I had heard um, about on the internet, Happy Little Dinosaurs. 
uh, you play um, that's made by Unstable Games 2021 and uh, you play this <laughs> dinosaur game as the extinction is happening and the last one to stay alive um, wins so interesting um, there's a game called Blurt and a shout out the answers to each um, the yellow part of an egg a seed of corn to provide assistance and then it, does, it says you have to be fast but you also have to be first so there's Blurt Blurt Paul Blurt uh, here's Tenzi, the dice game. These are the cards. Um, and it tells you how to play. Uh, no thumbs allowed. That should be interesting. So I can't wait to try that one. Tenzi's a dice game, and this gives you 73 more ways to play. So I've been wanting that, but I haven't had it. At the same thrift store... Uh, I got Born on TV, made by Mattel, the toy box. It's Noisy Person's card game. I don't know anything about it, but it says, What does a shark supervillain sound like? How about a gargoyle cheerleader? And then it's one of the card games where you have to choose what would be closest, and then people vote on it. So I'll try that one out and see how it goes. Um... So I found two uh, Legos racers that I want to build, and then Smart Links Big Bots Orange 05. I figure I could do a little video on that one too. And then, and then, oh, I hear the vacuum. Let them down here. Game right sneaky cards play it forward. I don't know what that is. We have Rory's uh, Story Cubes, Let Your Imagination Roll Wild. On the Dot, the Super Spotted Brain Teaser. Overlap four transparent squares and make a pattern. Maybe that one's not coming on vacation. And then in this bag, Lloyd's The Block and Roll Puzzle. And it looks like that. Cool. Last thing I have is called Go 500 Racing Game, and it has a shaker like Yahtzee, uh, some papers in there, and a travel bag, and one of the dies. So you must have to roll up, to, you know, each round or each lap. It's like a racing game, but on dice. So interesting. And folks. That is it for our first episode. Uh, we do have um, uh, I'm trying to think. We do know where uh, Hagrid is. He big Hagrid's right there. Uh, David's favorite find is going to be the Tenzi Seventy Seven New Ways to Play, and uh, should be pretty cool. So, guys, have a great night. And uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good summer.